the sewing advisor. One of the best things that Husqvarna Viking has invented and it's just like having your own sewing teacher right at your fingertips. Let me show you how this works. Right now, look up here where the black sewing machine is and it says B woven medium. Now these little symbols equal fabric pictures. So let's get used to them. Number one, or excuse me, A, B and C look like woven fabrics. A would be considered woven light, B, woven medium, and C, woven heavy. So we're talking about uh, C would be like denim, canvas, things that are woven but heavy. A would be considered lightweight fabric, silks, satins. B, great old for cottons, linens, all those types of medium weight fabrics. What's nice is, is if you tell the machine what fabric you're using and what technique you're doing on it, it will pick your stitch for you. So if we went ahead and told it we are working on cotton fabric, woven medium, B, and we are doing a seam, which happens to be number one, it will make sure that we are on a straight stitch and the stitch length is appropriate for that fabric. If I was doing a lighter weight fabric, watch the stitch length. It will actually change to a shorter stitch length or be longer for a thicker fabric. Also, the needle changes too. How brilliant. So a heavier needle for the heavier fabric on a seaming type technique. Now let's go a little further. D, E, and F are pictures of, looks like your t-shirts. D would be considered stretch light. Now we have seam still selected and it picked a stretch stitch, stitch number two actually, and set up the length and width for the right setting. Also recommends a stretch needle, 75, for that lighter weight fabric. What about a stretch medium and a stretch heavy? Stretch heavy would be kind of like a fleece, that type of fabric, but anything that's stretchy. And you can kind of feel, okay, is this a heavy or a medium? And then pick accordingly. One other thing that the sewing advisor does is when you pick from the fabric selection, it also makes your foot pressure adjusted. So if you've ever been sewing on knit fabric and your fabric comes out a little wavy, not anymore. If you tell the machine that you're working with a stretch heavy or stretch medium or stretch light, it will make that foot be gentler on that fabric and it won't stretch it out. Brilliant. So make sure that you use this on all your projects. So last one is G. G is leather or vinyl and it we're on seam, so it goes for a straight stitch, makes it longer so the stitches aren't too close together that they perforate the vinyl and separate it. It also changes your foot to foot H. If you look in your accessory box, foot H is the non-stick foot. So once again, the feet are all associated with the sewing advisor for what you're working on. So now that we've kind of mastered the fabric, let's go ahead and figure out what it means for the techniques, number one through seven. So let's just go back to B for a nice woven medium. Technique number one is a seam, so we get a straight stitch. Technique number two is an overcast, so it picks the right stitch for that fabric. Notice, if I pick a different uh, fabric, that stitch will change to different settings and different feet will be recommended. So depending on your fabric, it makes sure you're in the right ballpark. Stitch three, uh, technique number three is a seam and overcast, so it's gonna go ahead and seam it and jump over the edge and with the right foot, oh, it turns out perfect. Number four is a basting stitch, so it makes the stitch really long for that fabric you've selected. Number five is the blind hem, so if you can't remember which stitch is the blind hem, we'll just pick the technique, the one, the picture that shows it, and we'll go right to that stitch. Happens to be 17 up here on the top. Foot D is what you're going to be, and as you pick a different setting or different fabric, it changes that stitch, so making sure that you have the right stitch for that particular uh, technique here. So we'll go back. Number six is a hemming stitch. Again, making sure that you have the right setting. And then number seven is a buttonhole. Once again, you have lots of different buttonholes up here to select from, but it will pick the right buttonhole for the fabric that you have also picked. So remember, it's not just picking the stitch, but remember the pressure of the foot is adjusted. Now, if you leave the machine on Let's go ahead and leave it on stretch heavy. It doesn't matter the technique, but if I turn the machine off and come back tomorrow, watch what it's gonna be set at. So it's gonna go through its little adjustment. Here we go. It doesn't remember a technique, but it does remember the fabric. So if you've been doing stretchy stuff yesterday, 
make sure that you come back and reselect the correct fabric for today's sewing and then go on from there. So just always take a look because I've watched people leave it on certain fabrics from days ago and then not have the right real look to their stitch when they start sewing again when they come to class, for example. So take a look, get it on the right fabric, and you're set to go.